Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Jenna J coming in again to say and talk some shit. So what? So, I'm chilling in the car, having my morning coffee, you know, getting my daily dose of gossip, media takeout, TMZ. You fucking suck sometimes, but so what? I still love you. So, I see someone digging in the trash, and I'm just like, kind of in my head, kind of dismissing it, like, oh, just another person, homeless person, no big deal, what the fuck ever, right? Not really like that, but that's just my mentality at this moment. Until I notice that it's a woman. This woman has a man. <laughs> I don't know what their relationship is. I don't know, like, are they fucking? Or are they just kissing? I don't know the level of intensity in their relationship. But I know that they're in a relationship. Because every morning, every single morning, every morning, for about, I would say that I've noticed the last year, they have been coming around doing what they have to do. But what particularly bothers me about this couple is every time I'm seeing them hustle, it's her that's out there hustling, heading to the back to get the trash to dig in. And he waits politely at the front, like, go handle that. Now, I'm just saying, y'all, that shit bothers me because, first of all, a man is supposed to be a provider. I'm sorry. You cannot call yourself a man if you are not providing. Or, let's scratch that. You can't call yourself the man, not a man, because you still have factors like your dick and stuff that makes you a man, so I don't want to offend nobody. But, if you can't perform the basic necessity of what it is that your function is supposed to be in this, the fuck are you doing? And you know what, honestly, guys and girls, that is so symbolic to me because we don't even have to be on that lower level to see shit like that. I mean, we got rich bitches. Take, for example, old girl who won all that money. I don't know if you heard about her, but she won like a ridiculous amount of money. Like, she will never, ever, her kids will never, ever, nobody will ever, ever spend that amount of money in their lifetime. But what does she do with her money? The single mother, well, I think she has like three or four kids. I'm sure that's not the first step. I'm not saying that's all she did. But she decides to pay million dollars to bail a nigga out of jail. What? Did you? Huh? You got me fucked up. Okay? There is no way that I'm going to pay a million dollars for your ass to get out. And then what happened, y'all? He goes back to jail. They up the fucking bail. And you're out of more money. But the woman figures, hell, I have the money. I can do it. But it's not about having it. It's the message. Like, where are you meeting this person halfway? Like the example of the, the woman who won the lottery because that to me is the same level of old girl digging in the trash while old boys just sitting on the step like, yep, handle that. What the fuck are you talking about handle that? I'm like this. If you're not willing to get down and dirty than with me, then I don't even need you with me because you you holding me back. You are holding me back. I'm just saying, you're not pushing the basket, you're not giving the gloves, you're not holding the fucking top up to this shit, what the fuck do I need you for? I don't. I don't. But, you know what? It happens on lower, middle, high class scales. I don't know how to define that and what that is to call it to tell you how to be on the lookout for but hopefully the little description of what i have just given you will either a make you able to identify people like that in your life or b start paying attention to that stuff or c you don't even fucking care and i'm just saying i ain't mad at you jenna J.